Bill on Facebook says, in the course of your job, you may be required to deliver product to businesses that you would usually not visit, specifically a gentleman's club in which you would come into contact with sites that are rather inappropriate to view. You don't have the ability to say no to one particular delivery destination, and it's on a route that you have to choose. How would you suggest operating in that sort of situation? Bill, thanks for a very difficult question. But you know, these are real life situations and I don't wanna ignore any of them. I don't have all the answers for this one, but I have a few things that are on my heart. You know, it's important folks that you and I as Christians realize that some things are sin for us. And the Bible talks about things that are sinful that we participate in that we're supposed to be separated from. Now, I, I want you to understand that first because that's been a kind of a controversial discussion lately on after some of my podcasts, people misunderstanding what I'm saying. Please make no mistake that I believe that the Bible is the word of God. I believe it's the foundation for how we should live. And I believe that it's a foundation for what we determine is right or wrong, what is sinful and what is not sinful. I also understand that sometimes that picture gets blown out of proportion. Let me explain. There are two ways to live your life as a Christian. To hibernate and just stick very close with family, with Christian friends and your church, or to go out into the world as the Bible says, go into the highways and byways and compel them to come. Compel them to come to church? No. Compel them to come to Jesus. How do you do that? By being involved. So folks, you can't ignore things that are going on around you. But you have to be very careful in what is sin for you. Now, I have to tell you about an experience that I had. And I realize this is going to be very controversial, but I ended up in a strip club one day. That's a long story. But I didn't expect to be there. I didn't expect to go in. It just, it happened. And you say, well, Pastor Bob, you always have a choice. And yes, you do. But my choice was that I needed to be there. And even though I didn't see anything, I realized that there were women on the poles behind me. Uh, I was focused speaking to somebody else, and that was important. It was important for that time, and it's what I did. But I've never been to one before that. I've never been to one since. I don't expect to ever go to one again. But it was, uh, I could tell you stories about that and things that happened from that that were pretty amazing. But I realized that it was a time when I really knew that God was telling me to do exactly what I did. And I saw the fruits of it afterwards. Now, I wouldn't recommend that to too many people at all. I would say that the chances are that God is calling you to go into a strip club. I think they're pretty slim, really. But what about this particular question? You know, are you viewing your job as a mission field as well, or just a job to bring home money? Because if it is that, then you probably need to stay away from these kinds of jobs. If it's a mission field and you're ready to accept some of these possibilities as you go to work every day, then you, then you consider that as well. If you're married, you make sure that your wife feels comfortable with it. You make sure that you call her before and after you make that delivery. And you make sure that in your heart you're okay with it. And if you have any problems with it personally, then the best idea is to leave it alone. But folks, one of the things that we really do a lot is we separate ourselves from the world so much that we don't engage it at all. We don't compel anybody for anything. We don't live our lives in front of anybody. And how will they know? And so it's really important that we find the balance and that we love people unconditionally. Can I tell you about a phrase that I really hate? It's when people say, you know, we just need to love the person and hate their sin. And folks, if somebody loves me and hates what I'm doing, I feel their hatred. It may not be placed on me, but it's hard to separate 
me from what I do because it represents me. I think we need to go out in the world and love people regardless of their sin and not hate any part of them. You see, that's what Jesus did. The woman at the well, so many different examples of him, you know, telling people that what they were doing was sinful, but loving them first. And sometimes he never mentioned that it was sinful. They knew. But I think this hate the sin thing has caused us to really hate people too, even though we say we're not. Folks, what we really need to do these days is to engage people, to love them unconditionally, to realize that some things really are sin for us and we need to be separate, separated from them if they really hamper our walk with the Lord. But to engage people whenever we can and make sure that because Jesus has changed your life, that you live your life in front of other people. God bless you. Have a great day.